um, better leaders after Aaron Curry and Alphonse Smith left. Um, and now hopefully we're trying to get back into uh, having great leaders. If I need it every now and then, but on our defense, you know, I understand. You know, sometimes things are going to be tight, but you know, with the federal Pell Grant that's in place, we're just trying to. There's there are opportunities. Win our games again. Let people know that it wasn't a, a fun that way for us when they see championship. Did you work during the summer at all? Do you hear that? Um, yes, sir. I, have I mean, maybe friends good naturedly or, or, or maybe opposing oh, yeah, fans. Do you hear people say that they think you know, that, that uh, run for Wake was a summer ago and it was great. Um, and, um, you know, it yeah, I heard a lot of people say it, but I feel like. You know, football players. I feel you know, like if take we had the athletes like Aaron Curry and Alphonse Smith out there, yeah. and Alphonse is leading the nation in interceptions. Uh, Aaron Curry is number one. Yeah, 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 the they talk to the athletes. They're not yeah, sticking top. upon themselves. They're actually going to our team and hyping them up and letting them know everything's going to be fine and uh, doing the, the, the job that they needed to do and be leaders uh, created wins. Uh, it's, it's not just the individual. That wins the game is those teams. What, what was it like? I mean, mentally in some of those games last year, like you know, Stanford games where you guys were just getting, you know, for lack of a better word, blitzed on defense. I mean, what's that feeling like? I mean, was it was helpless for you. I think you feel like it was disappointing. At the end of the day, um, you know, you can do something about it, but nothing. And you nothing know, concussions are a big nothing topic. Was going your way. You know, for everybody. Um, you know, I think our school, Wake Forest, does a great just, job at preventing, you know, concussions and making feeling. sure people have just air in their like you're lying on the ground and somebody making sure people wear their mouth. Repeatedly kicking you over. Um, you our school is also up. working with um, 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 Toyota but, right now to, you know. Um, Thanks to our coaches. You know, uh, record, um, again, we're having of, um, a different mindset you know, now. I guess pressure we can't dwell on the past. And and so, you know, I think we're doing a great job with it, but you bring the past at the end back of the day, you know, football is a contact moving. sport, so, so I think we need to possibly get ready to do Yeah, yeah. 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 It doesn't really show some of those programs that have been able to win. I forgot about that deal with y'all having to be there. Are you doing any? But just any weird gadgets or anything? Really yeah, I, 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 I personally actually had it in my helmet during the spring. And um, it's just like, it's yes, not uncomfortable or anything. It feels just like a regular coaches, normal uh, helmet. The coaches, and, um, they, know, they did their, they did their hit, great and, job um, you know, keeping the players in line. Level, and, let them know that peaks, that's when this team is not just the coaches uh, team, it's the players it's team. Like little, uh, uh, you guys have to go out there right now and uh, uh, win the game. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah, it's actually uh, they have like a device that's like four different pieces on each side of the helmet that sit across it. And there's a little chip that records each hit. Um, even like the slightest tap is gone. Uh, yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't really go on the NFL right now. I just, I actually just really want to you know, win games with our team. Uh, it's, a, it's a great thing to go to the NFL. Come out and work hard. Just, um, you know, right now, Wake Forest, Wake Forest football is you know, the center of attention. What do you think about Wake academically? You know, with our offensive line coming back, you know, so much experience. I thought it was going to be a challenge, but I didn't. I think it was going to be the biggest the challenge guys, I faced you know, at Wake Forest so far. It's, it's a hard school, you know, that, you know, uh, private school. They're trying to be one of the, the top uh, schools in the nation. Uh, professors are, are rough. They're tough. Uh, they. Um, in our receiving uh, core, you know, we have now Kevin Chris Davis, who's going to be a great but player this year. With the help of uh, um, you know, we have Terrence uh, Davis, who's going to be a great player this year. We have an ACL, allow us to study time. I think these guys are going to stay up, and they know what they have to do. We have a 10-hour minimum of study time, make sure that we get all our homework done. Uh, read what we need to do, write our papers that we have every single day. Um, so, uh, it's a hard school, but they provide plenty of help. Chinzo, what's the greatest challenge on the field? Uh, it might be off the field. Uh, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's not an easy school. There's a professor actually that told me that a lot of the athletes are just taking sociology and communication class because it's an easy uh, major. Definitely, you know, last year three and nine. 
season is disappointing. I mean, even those courses and are hard, too. we got to put so. that behind us, and we'll focus on I mean, having a great season this year. It's it's just, character, Coach Crow did a good it job. It does. I mean, yeah. I yeah. Actually, you, you want to score with the way. I'm, I'm glad I went to score with because I know uh, in the future that if football doesn't work out, I, I can learn to lean back on my education. Um, Wake Forest has taught me a lot in my, in my field of studies. Uh, it helps me, it provided me with uh, many uh, uh, networking people that I can contact. I think uh, Coach Crow does a great job. What do you, what do you tell, say, a recruit comes in for <laughs> Uh, if, call, you know, you know staying with you or one of your friends, you guys going out and he says, man, what's it like here academically? You know, like you know, what, what do you do? You know, obviously, you don't necessarily want to freak them out and scare them away, but you also don't want to give them, you know, that red shirt, that, you know, false sales pitch. So what, what are you telling them? About? I like to, uh, I like to keep it real with them and let them know that you know, uh, they like to call it workforce here, but uh, you're going to have plenty of help to uh, get everything you need done. It's just you have to take it upon yourself. You have to grow up and mature. Like, it's, it's no fun games anymore like high school. Um, have you ever had? I mean, have you no, ever noticed a recruit that maybe was just kind of got a little bit spooked, I guess, by, by the idea of the academic workforce? I mean, you don't have names. Well, once a recruit, uh, they don't really, they don't really look at the, uh, you know, academics as such hard. But I believe afterwards when they come in, they realize, yo, this is real deal. Uh, but I, all I can do is provide help for them, uh, let them know that everything's gonna be okay. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I made it. It's gonna be, it's gonna be better. You know, this game. You know, a bunch of experience. You, know, you have to have that experience under your belt. And um, now that they have it and know uh, what's, what he's, he's real uh, shifty. procedure is, you know, his, his balance is, he has great balance. You know, uh, I actually watched the ESPN uh, uh, a little documentary on him. Uh, he takes uh, martial arts and stuff like that. And I can see it uh, translate onto the football field. He's a, a good, strong, solid yeah, little you know, running back. Yeah, with four seniors coming back, you know, he, we've been playing. You know, He's four a real years deal old, too. Us, you know, uh, had a great time together. And, you know, we just really want to focus on the right. season. Just does. go out with the can't just give it to him. You got to give it to his offensive line. You know, they're they're you know, huge Doug out there. Doug Weaver, <laughs> Michael Holmes, He's a Florida guy. Vince Scott, you, you, you ever heard of this man? What it's uh, going to take. Not as much, but he probably never heard of me. Yeah, starts up front. I don't think he even started. I think Harper, Jamie Harper. That was sort of the emotion and the excitement playing into that three. What sort of physical things do you guys have? We're going to be a 340 this year. Jellish goes right. Work. Yes, sir. Oh yeah, um, we, uh, we want to uh, put uh, more speed on the field. And, um, uh, you know, we feel we're like doing a lot more speed kills and stuff this uh, year. We're gonna try to cause chaos out there, fashion. control chaos. You know, now that you've going, had a, a spring at that, at, at that position, I mean, just, just getting in the weight room, making sure everybody you know, is getting their minerals and shakes. How much more? You know, getting bigger and stuff. So, yeah, man, it's really exciting to be in, in the weight room and seeing everything work out. I, I, I'm, I'm real comfortable now. Uh, Maryland game, I believe, was my first game I played outside linebacker. I didn't feel like I had a great game, but I was I was uncomfortable. I didn't, I didn't know what to do. I was asking other players around me, but now I feel a lot more comfortable. Uh, um, people are asking me what they do, uh, some of the young guys, but um, I, feel, I feel real comfortable. I feel like it's going to help our uh, whole defense. Out. So I think they're going to push these young guys. The defense came up to our young guys. The big zone is improving. How are you going to fix this this season? I don't know. I guess it was D-line. Our, our coach kind of pointed out to us, I mean, we're pretty much last. Uh, can't get any worse, so it's, the only way to go now is get better. So, but we can't just get better just by open position. We have to actually uh, do something about it. Uh, somebody has to make a play. Uh, somebody has to step up, uh, provide leadership, and let the team know that this way of losing and giving up the big games like Stanford, Florida State, and Virginia Tech in Maryland, this, this can't happen no more. We have to stop offense. Putting up the numbers that he is just on the field. Being the leader, you know, 